Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Yasha Allah Koholoy Mala Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Kakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. I just want to say throughout to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And just want to touch on. um. A situation from last night, um, you know, just kind of somewhat of a testimonial. It won't be that long, but it, it you know, it, it made me think like how fucked up we are as a people, and 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 why we need repentance. Um, and you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, this is for our people. You know what I'm saying? Because you are the Hebrew Israelites. That's your, you know, your biblical nationality. You're not these names that. Esau been calling you and I say Esau because Esau is the biblical name for the so-called white race and they colonized and and you know and and you know slavery rape rob pillage the whole thing 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 you know and being under their rulership our people are through when I, you can't get no lord in the nation of Israel right now man it's so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans and, and though they out here, you know what I'm saying? They got houses. You got a couple of billionaires. You got a, you know, you got cars. You know, Jake, do you know, they on, on that level somewhat. Jake, they look good. Jake know how to dress. You'll see Jake out here looking fresh to death. But as a people, we're destroyed. And they don't, you know, a lot of them don't get that. They just don't get that, man. We are destroyed as a people. So I wanted to um, just bring this out because it just came back to my mindset um, just now. Cause I was out last night just for a hot sec. I kind of um, pull my little scooter out, and um, I just like to just ride up the street. You know what I'm saying? Let the damn wind blow. You know, it's therapeutic. I have my speaker on there. You know what I'm saying? Where I can, um, you know, I'm Bluetoothing and listening to lessons. So as I'm riding, you know, I just listen to lessons. You know what I'm saying? So as I'm zigzagging through the neighborhood, and I don't be going that fast anyway. I'm doing no more than about 10, 15 miles an hour <laughs> at best. So I'm cruising through the neighborhood and I hear, you know, um, I wasn't paying no attention. I passed by some people that was in a yard. Matter of fact, it was um, two young ladies and um, a guy and, you know, a bunch of kids and shit, you know, just out in the yard. You know, since it was, you know, I, I, I didn't think that they was talking to me, but they was trying to get my attention. And they kept saying, hey, hey. So. You know, I look back, I'm like, oh, okay, oh, shit, they talking to me. I, you know, so I spin around, I turn around, and I go back, and I'm like, you know, what's up? Y'all all right? And they was asking me about my scooter. That was the thing, you know what I'm saying? Because they was like, you know, having inquiring about the scooters anyway, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it, here you can go downtown, you can go off the river, you know, the river board and river walk and all that other little stuff like that. And you can, you know, rent the little scooters, you know what I'm saying? I, I think, I don't know what kind of app it is. I'm not sure about that. I just bought my own, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much the same ones. I just bought one, you know? I charge it at my home, you know? <laughs> shit, charge my shit at my house. But anyway, so they, you know, they wanted to test it out. They wanted to ride it. And I'm like, oh, my, shit, I mean, you know, just be careful, you know what I'm saying? Because, hey, them things is no joke. You can't fuck yourself up. Um, so, you know, they, you know. The one, she was like, oh, I know how to do it, whatever, whatever. And then the other one, she didn't know anything about it at all. Well, anyway, long story short, I'm standing there. I mean, because I, I, you know, they, they had good conversation and everything. The guy, he was real cordial. And they was young, you know, like younger Jakes, too. Like, they was all real cordial, you know what I'm saying, real nice. And we just kicking it about stuff. But one, um, one of the young ladies, she mentioned to me, you know what I'm saying, like, you know how... Her husband, you know what I'm saying? I guess, you know, going through a divorce, they, you know, I'm like, well, why would you divorce him? You know what I'm saying? You know, no, you got to, you know, you got to do your thing. You got to chill, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And um, then she went off into the story as to why. And I'm like, well, ah, it kind of threw me for a little loop, a little more than I wanted to hear. But you know what I'm saying? Basically, she was like, you know, like, you know, low key, he was getting rod. He wanted rod. And she was like, you know what the crazy part is, is she was like, if he wanted, you know, Rod, if you know what I'm talking about, you know, he basically, he, he, he wanted to be with men. And she was like, shit, I, you know, I got all kinds of strap. I could have got a strap on or something she was saying. I could have got, you know, um, dildos, you know, like I said, I don't want to be too graphic. 
You know what I'm saying? She's like, I could have done that for him. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't, you know, hey, people, that's a spirit. When people that are into that, you know, it, it, that goes all up, you know, they, you know, that's a, they want to be talked to and spoken to and, and, and body temperatures being, you know, te you, <laughs> so that's a whole nother hookup. <laughs> like you ain't go, you know, you ain't, you ain't going to be able to appease that spirit like that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I was trying to tell her, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know, hey, that's, hey, I mean, that's your hook. But she was just like, nah, it's, it's through deal through deal through 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 deal she tried whatever whatever anyway it just dawned on me like god damn bro we are destroyed as a people when i tell you and you know, she's you know little 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 on it you know of course you know a little ghetto you know what i'm saying <laughs> but she was she was pretty as shit nice body shape she had a dope body shape Real pretty, I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't think she was from here because I like, you know, she never did tell me where she was from because I already knew just the way kind of the way she was talking. She was kind of like one of those, she kind of seemed like one of those little southern bells. I'm like, you know, <laughs> oh, like because she she said, I forgot, she did say that she wasn't from here and that she actually got up. I don't know that online shit, man, that social media shit, and that's how she ended up, I guess, here. With this particular um, guy that she's talking about or whatever. But anyway, you know, enough on that. I just wanted to just bring this out because I'm thinking to myself, like, man, we are really fucked as a people. That's that, you know what I'm saying? Like, we are really super duper fucked as a people, man. And this newer generation, can you imagine another generation coming from this newer generation right here? These kids, man, gonna be, they already out of control. Can you imagine these out of control ass kids having kids with this rap music, with these videos, with this, like, that black culture? Man, Jake, through, bro. But anyway, let me get this real quick. Romans, um, in chapter one. Let me start up here at about 20. Let's start at verse 25. It says, who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, Yahweh gave them up. Now, matter of fact, let me go off into this a little bit. It says, who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie? Esau Edom, the so-called white man. You know, they run around here with that, that white Jesus Christianity shit. And they rape, robbing and pillaging and taking shit. You know, because, you know, Esau, the so-called white man, even when we was in slavery, you know, they, they was training a lot of our men to be into those particular lifestyles because they want, you know, they was, they was, you know, had makeup on them, prepping them up, you know what I'm saying? Had them on greasing them up, shining them, you know what I'm saying? So them old ass crackers could, you know what I'm saying? Do their thing with them. Right. So it says and worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Who is blessed forever amen and these people they worship the, the 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 damn creature that the lord created over him they 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 take the the, the um the creature that the lord created and turn that into a god and don't even think about the lord you see verse 26 it says for this cause yahweh gave them up unto vile affections for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature it's like your damn ice cream truck. And damn Ishmael lights in the hood trying to get money off Jake. I think that was an Ishmael light. Generally, they're the ones to be riding up the block on us. But verse 27, it says, and likewise, also the men, this is the point. The men leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lust one towards another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. So we're destroyed as a people. And, and the Lord, you know, will hand you over, man, to. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, we're, I, we're so destroyed as a people, man. I mean. But the Lord is not playing no games, man. We need repentance. This is why we need our Lord, Yahweh Shai. This is why the Lord Yahweh Shai came, which the world eagerly calls Jesus. That's the, the real biblical name for our Lord, his Hebrew name, Yahweh Shai, which means he is the savior or deliverer. Because that's what we need. We need 
saving. We need to be delivered out of the hands of our enemies that have us in such a situation that our people would uh, just out here doing all kinds of shit and, and mainly for money too. See, really we're a royal nation of people and when you're royal and you have all the, 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 the you know, everything that you can imagine, you're not going to go out here and basically sell your soul and be doing all kinds of wicked shit because it wouldn't be no use in it. You know, Esau, Edom, you know, they, you know, they kind of, you know, throw, throw, throw Jake for a loop, man, you know, by, you know, offering them, you know, um, these incentives, so to speak, for Jake to sell out, man, and be doing all kinds of silly shit. And that's the situation that we're in as a people. Now, I'm not sure well, as far as like, you know, this situation with this young lady, but I'm like, God damn, that nigga left your fine ass for you. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just thinking to myself, like, because she was fine. <laughs> I'm looking like, man, that it, it, what, it hit my mind like, yeah, Ali, man, we are destroyed. She, you know, she basically like, he don't want me. He wants to be with a man. I'm like, God damn, straight. Hey, it is what it is, though, man. So we're living in the last days. We're living in the last. Hey, this shit, it, it has to happen. I mean, it vexes us, you know, when we, you know, come across stuff like this. But, you know, you know what, though? I wasn't even um super duper, you know, upset like that because I, I understood it. I'm like, I, it, I'm telling you, the spirit just hit me like, you know, this is this is, this is a situation where you're being shown how messed up we are as a people and how important repentance is and how important we need mercy, how important we need our Savior. We need that, man. We are through as a people. And a lot of our people are going to be destroyed, man, for these lifestyles, man. You know, because the Lord, he'll give you up to a reprobate mind, man. Matter of fact, let's see. Um, verse 28, it says, And even as they did not like to re retain Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. See? Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of Yahweh. They hate the Lord, man. Despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. Without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of Yahweh that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. That's why you have people out here where you know they they don't mind. They where you know um, you know they get to telling you about where. You can love whoever you want to love. You know all that different shit. You know what I'm saying? They're they're not coming up and saying no. That shit wrong. If you agreeing with, 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 with what's so wrong about it? Who are they hurting? <laughs> you know, those type of people. Hey, the Lord going to destroy them too. Because they're in agreement, in agreement with wickedness, man. So, you know, I was just looking like, well, damn. I mean, hey, I, what can you say, man? I, I ended up, I, I got on my scooter. Well, I kind of try to explain a little bit of something, something. You know, I didn't go all deep with it. You know, but I ended up, hey, I jumped on my scooter and I came on <laughs> to the crib. But still, it hit me in my mind again as I'm, you know, I'm just like, God damn, bro, we threw. Young, healthy bucks, man, supposed to be out here getting with a woman and increasing the nation of Israel. Because the scripture talks about um, being fruitful and multiplying. And you want to be with a man that ain't, that's not going to produce any fucking thing, man, other than, you know, um, your damn death. So it is what it is, man. I just wanted to touch on that for a hot sec. I didn't mean to be vulgar if it sounded vulgar. I was trying to explain it best I could, you know what I'm saying, without being vulgar. But I pray that the lesson was edifying, man. It, that's why we need to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai for, um, you know, repenting. We, we need to repent, man. We need to pray to him for mercy. Because the Lord is long-suffering, you know, because even Paul spoke to... Um, uh, uh, you know our people on such things You know what I'm saying A lot of those believers that came into the truth They was into um, You know um, The men on men thing And the woman on woman thing They was into some of that stuff Because you know They was They following in after those goddamn Greeks And, and, and Roman fashions man Which is Edomites and Damn so called white people man 
bunch of goddamn freaks and making and making laws where freakism is 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 legal. Actually rewarding the um the freakism, man. They're rewarding the people for being, you know, um damn freaks, man. You know? Let me see, uh Trying to think how it's worded. It's been a minute on this one. Let's see if I can get it like this. Might not be able to find it, but. It is what it is. I roughly paraphrase it. Uh, mm, hold on. Let's see. Let's check out this First Corinthians six and eleven real quick. Let me see. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, yep, this is it. First Corinthians chapter six. Um, let me start at verse nine. It says, "Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. That's that's the, the point right there. Nor effeminate. You know, I, you know, men acting like women, man. It says, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. That's the point right there too, because in the NLT over here, the New Living Translation." It says, do, don't you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Don't fool yourselves. Those who indulge in sexual sin or who worship idols or commit adultery or, or are male prostitutes or practice homosexuality or are thieves or greedy people or drunkards or are abusive or cheat people, none of these will inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. So, you know, that's the point that I wanted to make on that, man. But, um, I mean, like I said again, man, you know, I mean, hey, we, we, we're in a bad place, man. We're a bad state. This, this is why we need the Lord, man. And if you are into this truth, the Lord brought you into this truth, I say it all the time. Be thankful. Praise Yahweh, man. Be thankful. The water, the water, the water. Call Haloyim La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. Barakafai Yahweh, Barakafai Yahweh Shai, Barakafai Rakakadash, man. Be thankful for him bringing you into this truth because you can be out here and be one of these people and be destroyed and we're praying to Yahweh for mercy man we we need to be praying for mercy on a day-to-day -day basis that's why you know been bringing up that psalms 51 with um you know when king david you know prayed prayed this prayer uh let's go into it real quick we can end out here Yahweh Ratzah. psalms 51 let's start at verse 9 it says hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. That's something I pray for every day, man. Throughout the day. Multiple times throughout the day. Sometimes five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Every time it comes to mind, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I pray before I go, you know go to bed i pray when i get up you know but throughout the day i'm praying that man i, I you know and i, I want to make it man and then it's a beautiful thing man i mean once you you come into this truth and you just you, you see like this it is it, still the love that yahweh has for us as a people man he got a serious love for us man to send his only begotten you know what our lord went through man so we can have this opportunity and chance man Come on, bro. You can't get around it, man. He went through some things. Some things, man. Some of the most horrific. Your average ass won't be able to handle it. I, you know, but we're praying to y'all about Shimmy Abashai for that type of endurance when shit hits the fans out here. Because it's going to come a point where we're going to be um, basically tested. And we want to have what we need to pass the test. You know what I'm saying? So pray for that, man. Continue on. You know, reading and, you know, studying and asking for more faith if you need more faith. The Lord even, you know, he he, he spoke, spoke on that as well. He says, hey, you, you want wisdom? Ask him. He'll give it to you liberally. But you got to ask with faith. You can't be double-minded. You can't be wavering side to side. You wondering. You doubting. 
No, I mean, you got to just get your prayer on and leave it at that, man. And, 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 and pray with the intentions of knowing that, you know, uh, just think about maybe like a, um, I, I use a fast food restaurant, for instance. Say you go in and you make an order and they got your money. You done paid. You done paid for the order. You just waiting for them to bag your shit up so you can walk away. You should be that type of faith. Like, I already know what's up. They better bring my damn food. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying it like, you know, like that, that. But you know, what I'm, you get what I'm saying. You know, you need to have that faith. Like, you know, you know, for you, you know that they're coming back with your food or you're going to get a refund, so to speak. But you, you, you pretty much overall know they're coming with your food. They're going to pass you your, your, your bag, you know, your drink and, and, and you're on your way. That's the same way we should be um, praying to you. How about Shema Shah? We're going to the counter and we're, you know, requesting what we want. And you have to believe that it's good that he's going to give it to you <laughs> straight up, man. I mean, hey, hey, you know, you can't be doubting because the scripture says, uh, you know, don't expect nothing from him if you're um, wavering like that, man. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? You you want when you pray, you you better be. Ah, I got that. You know, the Lord going to look, especially if it's his will. If it's his will, you know, you just got to patiently wait. It's just like the restaurant example. You got to patiently wait on them to bring your food. You know, you got Jake, man, jumping through the goddamn drive through window, just trying to just, you know, shit ain't moving fast enough. You can't be like that. You have to be patient, man, when you're asking the Lord for certain things, because certain things it's going to take a little bit more time than others. You see? So I just wanted to touch on that, man. I pray that this lesson was edifying. Come here, Charlotte.